let's take a look at the uh, touchscreen control module. I have some headphones plugged into the left side and then I have the noise canceling ground microphone plugged into the right side over here. This unit runs off C batteries and um, I can turn the unit on simply by pushing the red button down below the left toggle switch. When it comes on it senses that I have the ground microphone plugged into it and it's automatically an acoustic listening leak detection mode. Now I want to cancel out of that mode and go back to the main screen and I just do that by pushing the right X over here. That always takes you a step back and gets you out of what you're currently in. Okay, so I've returned to the main menu and on the main menu I have seven different options. Now the first option here is my acoustic listening and that's what we were just currently in. It takes you to the acoustic listening mode and allows you to go ahead and start finding the leak by listening for it. The next option here is <coughs> my long-term acoustic measurement mode. Now this will listen for a period of time and uh, allow it to find what the lowest noise level, leak noise level is and give you that frequency so you can choose that um, down below when you're doing your acoustic listening. Now the next option is my trace gas detection. If I had a real tough leak that I couldn't hear or if it was in a noisy environment, I can imp impress hydrogen onto the line and uh, go out there and sniff out for it using the hydrogen sensor that's included in this kit. The next option on the screen is save mode. This allows me to save my measurements into memory and then I can transfer them over to a PC by selecting the other option over here. That's my data transfer mode and uh, um, transfer them and save them uh, for, um, for a history file. And my last option, or one of my last options, is my settings mode. My settings mode allows me to do several things. Of course, set up the unit how I like it. The first option there is my date and time. I can set that. And then the next option is my languages. I can go in and change the language. Um, power off time is my next one there. That allows you to uh, um, select an automatic power off anywhere between one minute to 60 minutes. Uh, and then I have a backlight option that I can adjust from zero to 100%. And then I have a frequency range right there, which is uh, defined by you. If you want to uh, um, change your high pass filter or your low pass filter, um, you can change the minimum and the maximum on there. And then you have hearing protection. That's your next option there. And uh, it has a, uh, this unit has an automatic noise level absorber, which ensures that the noise is, uh, requirements meet uh, the VBG 121. Uh, but um, you can go ahead and adjust that accordingly, the intensity of your headphones if you want by selecting that. And then you have the touch screen window. This will basically uh, deactivate it, turn it on and off if you want to, and calibrate it if you're having problems uh, with it not recognizing your fingertips. And then you can also clear your memory uh, by using that one right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of all of that by pushing this. Or you can push that there to go back a step either way. And so we're back to the main menu here. And uh, let's take a look at the acoustic measurement option, which is my first one right there. Now, this unit, um, I have plugged in the uh, acoustic microphone here, the noise-canceling microphone. And then the noise-canceling headphones are plugged into the left side. And so it automatically took me to the acoustic listening portion um, when I turned the unit on. But if you aren't in that option already, you can get to it by the main menu, selecting the top left-hand corner. Now, what we're looking at on the screen is your current listening level. And then it builds a history as you're listening uh, to the noises um, and moving the microphone. So by using the easy toggle switch here, you can see it's registering the noises coming in currently. And we have, if I stop talking long enough, we have about a 24. And I can let go of the button and move the microphone to another spot and listen again. And what it did now is move that to the history bar graph here. And you can see I'm currently registering a 33 and that last one was a 20. I can let go, move to another section go ahead and toggle it again and you can see I'm building a history 
right there on the left side of the screen. Down below, I can see the different frequency noises coming in. If there's a noise that's coming and going, you, can, you know that it's not a leak noise and you want to filter it out, you can easily do it by pushing on that and selecting your low pass, moving the cursor where you want it to go, select your high pass filter, move the cursor where you want to go, and zero in on the frequency leak noise, and then push down below. And now I've reset my history, and I can go ahead and push the button here, and you can see the frequency ranges that it's listening to now, and it's ignoring that the large blue wave, which is probably my voice carrying. And so now we're recording a six. Go to my next spot, go ahead and hit the toggle switch again, and you can see that six is now moved over to history, and now I'm registering about a 10, an eight, and it will get lower as I stop talking here. And the whole idea is you just keep moving along and keep listening for that leak noise. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're using the ground microphone or if you're using the M10 microphone with the magnet on it or the probes, um, but you do wanna select the right frequency range for the adapter that you are using or the, the microphone that you're using. And you can kind of easily do that over on the right side here. You got three different buttons going down. In the middle button here, we'll select the frequency ranges that you need to be on. Right now, it's currently on the ground microphone. It shows a little ground mic. There you go. And if I want to, since I have it selected to ground microphone, it's basically listening from zero hertz to a thousand hertz. If I push that button, it will toggle to the probe microphone, the M10 mic, and now it's from zero to 2,000, much higher frequencies, uh, so you uh, can listen directly onto the pipe itself, which does carry higher frequencies. And I push it one more time, and it's in your user-defined uh, selected frequencies that we've predefined. And so I'm going to go back to a ground microphone and uh, select it from zero to 1,000. Now the button underneath there will allow me to... Um, uh, select between smart mode and regular listening mode and so if I click on that I am now in well I'm in the uh, um, P PWG mode which is pulse wave generator uh, for um, listening for a plastic pipe but I'm going to select that one more time and now I am in smart mode and so let's cover smart mode real quick so what smart mode does is it uh, gives you two bars on your history there. And the left bar over on uh, um, the, the one that looks gray there is basically representing the noise amplitude. Uh, it ranges from zero to 100. So that's the, the, the one that you normally would see in the regular acoustic listening mode. So let's go back to smart mode. One more push here. Have to wait for it to register. And uh, the other smaller bar to the right of that is your minimum value measured. It's the lowest noise level, uh, which is relevant for leak detection. And so it's listening for what's most commonly uh, a leak noise and giving you that value, which is very, a very nice uh, feature. And so now as I toggle the switch here, you can see it's listening. And I got two bars there, the one on the left side and the one on the right. And you can see the one on the right is always a little bit smaller, um, registering the lowest noise level. And it's a 17, 16, but my current noise coming in is a 27. So it, the thing that's important is the lowest noise level. I can let go, push it again, and you can see that history is set over here on the left side. And uh, I got a top number of 27, a lower number of 14, and my current number coming in is 39, and I got a 9 for my lowest level. Untoggle, toggle it again, and you can see I'm building up my history as I'm continuing to listen at different locations. So that's a pretty nice option. And over on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, I can adjust my acoustic level uh, of, the, of the microphone noise. Um, if I need it to be more sensitive or less sensitive, depending on the, the conditions that we're in. The last thing I want to cover is the uh, two toggle switches here. This one will control your volume, of course, but if I push down on it and hold it, it will shut the unit off. Uh, this one will take me through the different options on the screen, and if I push on each one of them, it will change that option. 
as I'm pushing the toggle switch. So some people don't like to use the touch screen. Some people deactivate it because they accidentally are hitting it in the field. Um, and this allows you to control it in another way. Uh, if I hold down on this button on the right side, you can see that it brings up a menu on what the toggle switches actually do. So on the left side over there, uh, you can see the, uh, the unit, if you hold it for just a small period of time, it shuts the unit off. Um, um, and then if you want to, um, you can also control the headphones with it as it shows you. And then you can also play back uh, recordings. And then on the right side over here, you can see with a short push, it will um, select whatever you have highlighted on the screen. If you hold it for a little longer, it will bring up the, uh, the menu that we're currently looking at. And uh, we can also toggle between um, the different options by just rotating it left and right, as it's telling you there. And then uh, we can cancel out of whatever we want or delete what we want if we're into the uh, save mode and going through the menu system. And so uh, if you're unsure of what the toggle switches do, uh, the knobs do, you can just hold down on that and we'll give you a, a reference.